Hi guys, we're still here deep within Shady Shores Park where the emergency manager and the National Weather Service are still working on assessing all of the damage. So far, many people are still without power and they're left picking up a lot of pieces. It's a quiet community. This is a lot of, of activity and excitement for, for this entire county, actually, as a, as a whole. A quiet community now filled with the sounds of chainsaws. An EF1 tornado left many in Shady Shores Park to clean up. They were hit quite hard. There's a lot of homes close together here, and most of the other areas quite rural and things are spread out. It could have been significantly worse. The National Weather Service says falling timber caused more problems than wind. You know, probably in the order of thousands of trees if you added everything up all the way from one end to the other. And, uh, you know, a number of structures that, that, that did have some damage, a lot of that was due to trees falling on the structures. Still, nearby schools kept kids inside during the warning to make sure no one got hurt. This was a weak tornado at 110 miles per hour. I mean, you see the kind of damage that a weak tornado can do. Um, you know, you got to take them all seriously. They're not sure yet how many people were in fact impacted by this tornado, but the Red Cross is actually here working on distributing supplies to people who need it. For now, reporting here in Shady Shores Park, I'm Cody Boyer, 9 and 10 News at 6.